I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to be patient. Yesterday, my daughter walked up to me with her Bible like this. And she said, Daddy, Bible time. And a big smile came up on my face. So on the spot, right then, I say, let's go. And we sat down and we started reading. You got me? Because right now what she's working on is putting her finger under every word. Now, she she don't know the whole word, right? But see, she, she, she putting her finger under every word and she's making the first sound. So she's like, L -b -b and, then, and then we start clapping, then we celebrate. But watch this though. Keep in mind, my mentality, I'm trying to get through the whole, the whole Bible. You feel me? It's only two or three words on each page and it's like 12 pages. You know, so my goal is the whole book. After page two, she stopped. She didn't want to go no more. You feel me? And then she closed the book and she put it on top of her head and started laughing and started playing. And, and I'm going to keep it real. It caught me off guard because <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, like, uh, come on, you know, page number three, let, you know, let's keep going. So I, I, I laughed a little bit. I took the Bible, opened it back up to page three. Then she started laughing and she closed and she put it back on top of her head. And she said, Bible on my head. And then she started, she started laughing. She started playing. Then she took the Bible and put it down. And then she sat on top of it and started kind of kicking her legs. Almost like she was, you know, like she was riding a scooter or something. And before you know it, I had a reality check. I said, Demarcus, you being too technical right now, worrying about some page three. You need to be putting that Bible on your head and riding on the Bible like a scooter and playing in the game. Because, see, that's, that's, that's the joy of a child. That's just like reading the Bible. So I got out of my own head and I got the Bible. I said, hey, daddy turn, daddy turn. And I put it on top of my head and she fell out laughing. Then I say, all right, now it's time for me to ride it. I'm talking to myself in my mind, you know. I ain't say this to her. I like, all right, it's time for me to jump on that mud like a scooter. So I'm pedaling like a scooter. She laughing. And I say, here, your turn. Then she put it on top of her head again. Then we kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then I realized something. See, you got to be able to pivot. You got me? Things ain't going to always go your way. But you got to be patient. Because it's a toddler right here. And watch this, watch this. I didn't want to sit there with my Bible correcting her like, no, we don't play with the Bible. No, we don't We don't have fun with the Bible. No, we're on page three. I ain't trying to be that parent. You got me? Because subconsciously, when she gets older, I don't want her looking. I don't want her looking at her Bible like, uh, 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 I was always taught this not fun or I can't laugh or I can't play or whatever. Nah, nah, nah. We gonna have some fun with I, even if we gotta stop at the second word and play a game. I'ma be patient. You got me? Cause it's a toddler. She's developing. We learn to have fun in the midst. They, they, listen to me. There's joy in the midst of the word. Instead of looking at, we didn't get through the whole Bible. I changed the change. I, I chose to change my perspective. I say thank the Lord we got to page number two. <laughs> that's enough to that's enough to put it on top of your head and have a party about, ain't it? Some things in life you gotta be patient with. It takes time. Until God opens the next door, learn to praise him in the hallway. Learn to view the glasses half full instead of half empty. And I want you to understand some of that situation you're going through. You got to be patient. You got to keep on trusting God. Stop, stop uh, 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 limiting God to your deadline. Many people say, if God don't do this by 12 o'clock midnight, I'm going to. Come on, man, you sound silly. Who are you to give God a deadline? You say, Lord, I'm trusting it. Lord, have your way. And allow God to flow. And be patient, man. Everybody want a microwave blessing. We used to, what we what we do? We, we get a meal, throw it in the microwave, put that mug on one minute, and it's already popping and exploding. No. You want, you, you, you want a crock pot blessing. That thing take time. You got to put that thing on eight hours and hit the button and leave it. Go to work. Go somewhere. You come back. Beef stew just simmering. Why is that? 
Eight hours, boy. Some things take time to work. Let God, give God his office space so he can do his office work. Too often we get in the way and we like to mess everything up. Let me tell you a little secret. Some things that God working out, he, can, he can't tell you exactly what he do. Let me tell you why. Because the first thing we try to do is take the shortcut. You got me? If God wants to lead you right here to right here, the first thing we'll be trying to do is take a shortcut. Well, if I cut, if I cut this way, if I, if I go over there, if I shave off six months and try to go there. So some things he got, he he got, that's, that's why his words say his words are lamp into my feet and light into my path. He got to lead you every step of the way. But you got to be patient. What we in a rush for? And that's why we be so stretched out. We sit there and we worry, worry, worry. But man, listen, trust God. Trust God. Because you sit there and worry, worry, worry. <laughs> we ain't got time for that, cuz. We ain't got time for that. We're going to be patient. We're going to say, Lord, have your way. Lord, grow me in the process of this. It's about what God is teaching you through this process. Because God is more concerned about developing your character than anything else. Because the next level that he's bringing you to, you're going to need all these characteristics to sustain you at the next level. Because God want to use you in a major way. So be patient. What you in the rush for, man? <laughs> you feel me? What you in the rush for? Everything going to work itself out. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I will be patient. Because that's right. God's timing. Not our timing. Because see, God created time. And see, the trust in God means to also trust in his time. Because Father knows best. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.